um so i, I mean that this is not something which i i mean not part of my usual stuff that we do i, I mean in my normal day-to-day -day stuff we are into uh, red teaming kind of stuff but yeah. in a few cases where i had been part of the advisory board etc i had done some of these exercises so i i recall one of the cases where uh, some of the folks got into the room late around half an hour late so they missed the complete context and the setting yeah. and then during the session we did this curve ball where <laughs> they wanted to uh, kind of review. i am one of the co-founders of fire compass as well as i'm one of the co-founders of ciso platform so dan let's let's start with a quick baseball card kind of intro sure so, some 20 euros and eventually he told me you know what i need it very very badly can you give it to me for, i mean i'll give it to you at 10 euros or something like that and here is the iphone and i'm also going to give you this camera a small no, point and shoot autom automatic camera and i took that phone and i swiped and everything was working fine and i thought this is interesting because at 10 euros if you get a device which is working in worst case even if things are not perfect we can go open it up and look into and use it for hacking so sure. i found that <laughs> as and i'm I, I think i became a little bit greedy <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say I tried to help that guy, uh, but I said, okay, here you go. I gave the 10 euros. He took this uh, iPhone and the camera, put it into a small brown bag and gave it to me. And I took that and he started running up the stairs and I opened this brown bag and inside that there were two potatoes. Oh, wow. <laughs> so right in front of me he did the classic switch which I, I i was pretty well trained to do wow he did that classic switch in front of me and that was probably the most expensive pair of potatoes i have still uh, i mean i bought till date that's a great so story that had been a pretty humbling experience <laughs> being okay. a security professional um i mean uh, that reminds me to stay humble that's great. great. Great story. So, so Dan, let's get started with some real crisis examples. Today's topic is handling crisis. Um, please share some some examples of some real crises that you dealt with in the past. I, in all of our government conference rooms. And I said, um, well, Terry, I've decided to cancel this project. We're not going to do it. We're not putting Wi-Fi in any of the conference rooms. And Terry just looked at me with this stunned look. You know, and and I have, you know, she asked everyone to leave the conference room but me. So it was just me and Terry looking at looking at each other. And I've never seen a government agency meeting end so quickly in my life. Because you know, this was an hour-long meeting, it was 15 minutes in, and she just ended it. And she looked me in the eye and she said, Dan, if that's your answer, you cannot be the CISO in the state of Michigan. Basically, I was worried I was gonna get fired. And I said, well, wait a minute, Terry, you, know, you don't understand. Let me explain. I had all these white papers and all this. You know, I was going to show her all my background materials about and articles and, and books about why this was a bad idea. And she says, no, stop. I read all those articles. I know what you're going to say. I, I know what you're thinking. But, but she said, um, I've been to Dow, Ford, Chrysler, and General Motors. They all have Wi-Fi in their conference rooms. What do they know that you don't know? And so they're like, tell it. So I'm like, whoa. She says, I'm giving you one week to figure this out and come back and give us a plan, not to, not to deliver it, but to give us the plan to do it securely or you're fired. So that was a real 